Hi everybody, welcome to YS Kong Driving. We are in the small village of Sikinchan, Kuala Selangor, and we are here with this lovely French truck. Yes, it's a pickup truck from Peugeot, and this is called the Peugeot Land Track. Now, this one has a 1.9 litre diesel engine, common rail, and it has 150 horsepower plus 350 newton meters of torque drive to the rear wheels normally through a six-speed automatic gearbox and of course there's also electronic engagement of four-wheel drive system and that includes a rear diff lock so this is a very good workhorse should you want it to be but the looks of this uh, Peugeot Land Track is good enough to make it a lifestyle vehicle too so you can use it for either or what you want and the most important thing is, is that you can buy it for 120,000 ringgit and that is the price of the land track on the road without insurance now let's take a look at it again from the front we have LED headlights in the front and also the very very big Peugeot emblem and you know for sure this is a Peugeot and down here you have fog lights these fog lights are bulb type not LED but the daytime running lights are LED so over to the side you have double wishbone suspension which is very consistent with most type of trucks nowadays and that is what I see down there is a two pot floating caliper with ventilated disc so you can see here uh, these are the double wishbone arrangement for the front and along the side you get this uh, side steps aluminium and then onto the rear you have the very normal leaf spring plus drum brakes now tires and wheels are 18 inch yeah these are 265 60 series r18 and you can see down there is the spare tire is at the back and moving to the back you have these are bulb type lights, not LED. And then of course you have the land track at the back. You can see the land track there and steps here. Usually for the higher spec vehicles are to have a step there for you to step up. And of course there's a lock here. And this is the rear deck, very nice and big. I heard there is going to be a bed liner, but the car is so new, it hasn't arrived yet. Okay, in terms of width, it is 1975 mm, so it's quite wide. And in terms of length, it is 5331 mm. Yeah, wheelbase is 3180, so this size is consistent with the trucks that we have around in this uh, classification. Yes, but the only thing is this one is very competitively priced okay here's a look at the engine compartment i thought we'd take a very quick look but it's all covered by a cover now uh, i can see inside don't know whether you can see but this is a engine that is mounted north south direction and it looks like yes the block looks like it's aluminium and uh, so it is a lightweight modern engine yeah so this is the ecu for the engine and of course you see the abs here intake is very high up right up here and i think there is a hole that goes into the side of the fender so yeah wading depth of this car not mentioned but i would say it's around 400 uh, mm but don't take my word for it so this is a common rail engine 1.9 liters 350 newton meters of torque and 150 horsepower Okay, let's take a look at the inside of the vehicle. I've actually started the engine and from the very onset, you can see that we have power seats for the driver and also the co-driver. So yes, electric seats for both driver and co-driver. And down here, you have your mirror controls and you also have lane departure warning and parking aid. Yeah, in terms of ADA system, this one only has lane departure warning only so looking at the steering wheel this is a very nice decent car size steering wheel with a flat bottom that is in the tradition of Peugeot yes and you have also yes it comes with cruise control normal cruise control yeah and 
these are toggle buttons for you to do your trip meter and all the other stuff you do the meter is there and speedo goes this way ref counter goes the other way i'm i get a bit disoriented because the ref counter like goes in the opposite direction but yes it's quite a nice instrumentation and in the center you also get digital speed okay no pedal shifters yeah that's very common you don't see a lot of pedal shifters and drink holder plus down there you have your bottle holder there are actually cups of coffee cans and mineral water and up here you have a grab handle so in terms of appointment this is quite okay uh, in the center you have a big screen there and you have yes this vehicle is android auto and apple carplay friendly you have navigation then you have music player radio phone system settings and your aircon you have two zone aircon temperature temperature and so it's dual zone and also down here you have yeah this is the rear diff lock this is a volume control for your radio this is hill design control traction control lock and unlock button and this is your emergency flasher and this is your usb plug yeah you can plug your phone there and this is the electronic four wheel drive engagement from too high you can go to four high then you have to stop the car and push down to go to four low yes you need to go down uh, to a stop because the gear reduction is too much for any gearbox to take they have to stop and then of course you have your prnd for your auto and you push your gear lever to the right you get plus minus so it doesn't have pedal shifters but it has plus minus then you have sport and eco mode for driving mode so we tried both not much difference in the two because the horsepower difference is not very much and then of course you have the stop start button so down there you have the two pedals quite standard made of rubber and also a footrest for the driver now seats are leather red huh? they are not leather and down here you have uh, two drink holders where we can put a car key and I put my phone here and then you have a cigar lighter socket here and inside here there's just a cubby hole no USB the, uh, the USBs that we know are here alright so that's about it and quick look at the dashboard it is hard material hard material then this is aluminium painted plastic hard 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 so this is a hardy vehicle same with the side there yeah? it's all hard touch and uh, airbags there are six yeah so this vehicle is quite safe uh, it doesn't have the ADA system but who needs them yeah okay so you can see there one two airbags and then there's another two up there and another two up there in the last pillar grab handles there are three and so in terms of uh, the seating the seat itself is quite nice it holds you in your in position quite well and the seat belt anchors are adjustable height yeah okay let's move to the rear seat we are in the middle of a media drive and yeah so we have bags here so the rear seat is quite standard i actually slided that seat a bit back but there is still room for me and the rear seat is actually slanted quite far back so it's good and these seats believe it or not they actually split and fold 60 40 yeah this is the 60 and this is the 40 here so you also get a center armrest and i don't know why they want a 60 40 split because there's nothing at the back let's have a look oh yes i forgot to tell you they also have the tapa hook very good and at the back you also get drink holders and this is what the seats look like we're gonna check out the 60 40 yeah this is the 40 so you can actually lift or put this seat down if you need to put something that is flat lah. so it folds as a kind of a table but other than that yeah and for helping you to take your things at the back i don't really see the need for one and yes it can also do this yeah 
the seat can also do this and there's a secret compartment here yeah this is where your jack is so there you are jack yeah it's a, not a high jack just a normal jack all right okay so that's the rear seat and of course they have the dome light up there and also dome light at the front and yes one more thing at the back here amongst all the luggage you have a usb port here normal usb and you also have aircon louvers for the back so the back passengers don't get too hot okay guys so that's our very quick walk around of the land track now let's go and do some driving Right guys, uh, we are actually on the way back from Sikinjan, heading back towards Petaling Jaya to the Peugeot HQ. But we have chosen to take a little bit of detour and on our right is the Selangor Fruit Valley. We are actually from Bestari Jaya heading towards Rawang. So I thought that this would be a very nice piece of road to give you a first driving impression of the land track pickup truck okay so uh, we are now driving at this is about 80 yeah 80 kilometers per hour on this B road and yes the suspension is for a truck so if you ask me how's the suspension I would say that this is on the firm side of firm <laughs> if there was such a thing yes it's made as a truck and uh, it has a carrying capacity of one ton at the back which explains why the leaf springs have to be of a certain stiffness yeah so at this speed it's okay and it's quite comfortable uh, you might say yeah fairly fairly comfortable and of course you must understand the truck is not like a car yep and uh, if you use this truck to pick durians or mangosteens or fruits and vegetables you know uh, it will be okay if you carry 500 kilos of fruits or things like that it should be okay now uh, we have driven it for quite a while now and i find that the oh that's a bumpy road and one thing good about being on a bumpy road is that this suspension can take it so can the passengers yeah so can the passengers <laughs> yeah okay uh, in terms of uh, handling it is very much like a car except for the stiffness of course and uh, power that's enough yeah so you remember the other trucks in the same category with the 1.9 liter or the 2 liter engines they pull between 150 to 200 horsepower so this one at 150 that's enough now the size of this truck is not smaller in fact it is slightly longer than the Hilux if I'm not mistaken and the uh, width is also quite decent and the height is quite decent in terms of uh, four-wheel drive capabilities no issues because it does have a lock diff at the back and on top of that it has the uh, four-wheel drive system that is electronically engaged we are of course now on two-wheel high because uh, it's dry as a bone out there and uh, here we go accelerating a bit so it does have enough power you also have a sport button yes there's a sport button but we are on normal mode there's a sport mode and an eco mode so just to uh, give you a fair sampling we are putting it in the middle of the road yeah kind of middle of the road approach okay so we have a few corners here let's just take it and see how it feels Okay, the gearing seems to be for economy because as you 
lift off, it goes into high gear and then the engine RPM drops very low. So what we're going to do is we're going to shift the gear pedal to the right and we're going to use the manual, manual mode. Yes, I know there was a viewer who commented on my video, recent video, telling me that the pedal shifter doesn't make it a manual. Of course, I know the difference. <laughs> it allows you to manually shift your gear. Yes, it is not a manual gearbox. I know what is a manual gearbox. Thank you very much. So that's the driving lesson for today. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, this is this would be the very normal speed that an average driver will be driving this truck around a corner. So guys, do you feel it's very normal? Yeah. So there's enough power. Don't worry. How much is the torque? Uh, it's 350 newton meters of torque. So it's pretty decent Good. actually uh, I would pay tribute to the soundproofing because it, it sounds really nice and silent right at this speed yeah, yeah at this speed it's pretty good oh I forgot to mention we have Zachary and Sim in, in the car and they are just passengers at the moment we there's provide, nothing they can do we <laughs> Well, I did say it's going to be a very quick driving impression, right? Okay guys, so that's the end of our windy road session. Okay guys, so let's see what it's like on the highway. We are going to get up to the speed of the traffic that's traveling along this highway. The speed limit is 110. We are going at about 95 now. Okay, we are going to up the speed to 110. Okay, that's the acceleration sound. And uh, yes, we have just shifted into sixth gear. And this is the noise level. The little axia was like coming out. Okay, we will move back obediently into our middle lane. And this is the sound level and the comfort level at 110 i think is pretty much the same as any suv or light truck and if the road is smooth of course you don't feel anything it's pretty good what's our rpm at okay let me just check um at 110 kilometers per hour we are running at about 2,200 RPM. Wow, that's great, right? So this truck has the potential to be economical. Yes, and this truck will run on Euro 5. So at 2,200 RPM, we're going 110. So technically, this vehicle can hit up to 4,000 in top gear which means your potential top speed hmm, is quite good okay we're not going to test top speed today because it's a very hot day and we've had a long day so we're not going to go very fast yeah yep. long week. okay now that we are actually got up to speed the slip has dropped and 110 we are going at a little bit over 2000 only so this is the true speed of the uh, gearing okay so uh, I think if you drive this car at normal road speeds it's quite okay very nice and silent and it's very comfortable all right guys so that concludes our very quick first drive impression of the land track I personally find it a very attractive package at 120,000 and yes it comes with 5 years warranty. So we may take it up later for another lengthier 
test drive and uh, we may also take it up the mountain. Yeah, that's the ultimate test of any vehicle. All right, guys, this type of opportunity doesn't come very often. Driving in the rain. Now, what is good about a truck in the rain is that you can go to four-wheel drive high and for the land track, you can do it on the fly. So we are now in four-wheel drive high and yes, it's locked in four-wheel drive high and that gives you all-wheel drive capability in the wet. Now, a word of warning, yeah, these are fully locked up uh, four-wheel drive and so in the dry is not advisable yeah, on tarmac because uh, of the different speeds that the wheels will turn at and that will cause this thing called transmission wind up and that can cause your gearbox to get damaged but in the wet ground because of the wet surface the there, there is some amount of slip allowed by the transmission uh, on the tires of course and that is okay uh, for you to drive in four-wheel drive especially in the wet now if it gets dry then you are of course advised to disengage the four-wheel drive yeah and now we are trying to filter in to go up the road to go back to Bataling Jaya So guys, that is uh, our very quick stint in the wet. The land track handles it quite well, no problem at all. And thank you very much for being with us for our very quick first drive impression. And till we meet again in the next video, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.